14 flight and before you watch this video just realize I have not flown the F-14 in about six months and even then I didn't know what I was doing good morning pilot Today you will learn how to launch the F-14B Tomcat from a carrier. Today's procedure will be according to the Case 1 departure pattern. You should consult the briefing diagram before the flight. The Case 1 departure from the carrier is used during fair weather conditions. After launch, you will execute a clearing turn away from the carrier with a 20 degree heading change and then turn back towards the ship's base recovery course, or BRC. You will maintain 500 feet or below and an airspeed of about 300 knots. At a distance of 7 nautical miles from the carrier, you are free to climb and proceed on to your mission. This pattern will allow deconfliction with recovering and circling aircraft around the carrier. Tune the TACAN to 74 X-ray and make sure the TACAN is selected as the steering source on the PDCP. You may now turn the course knob on your HSD to correspond to the ship's BRC, which will aid you in keeping the correct radio from the ship during the departure. You will launch off of Catapult 3 on the waist, just like the Tomcat to your left. Turn on nose wheel steering and taxi up behind the catapult. You can use differential braking to reduce the turn radius. You will have to carefully line up the aircraft with the catapult track to avoid any problems during launch. Line up the red marks on the side of the ship with your left shoulder. Once in position, in order to hook up to the catapult, you will have to kneel the nose wheel by pressing the nose strut switch downward. Press U to hook up to the catapult. Okay, enough of this. Let's, uh, let's get to the flying. After I modify some keystrokes, because again, I haven't flown F-14 in six, maybe even seven months. So let me edit my uh, keystroke and make some adjustments right quick. And they will fast forward to me attempting to take off. your control wipeout. Wipeouts are always done in the following order. Stick full forward, stick full aft, stick full left, stick full right, full left rudder, and full right rudder. Once the wipeout is complete and you are ready to launch, salute the shooter, press left shift U to signal the catapult shot.
All right, so now I got all of this set up, and I don't know how to uh, salute. You know, you got the salute. I think it's uh, left control U or left shift U. But in any case, I'm going to speed through this, but I spent about 15 minutes trying to figure this out. I, I did a whole lot of scrolling through here and I just couldn't see how to salute so another product of not flying a certain jet that's the thing about DCS is that they got so many there's so many planes and they're, they're all steady sims so you can't just get in them and go Alright, so here I finally figured out the keystrokes and I got everything set up, so let's take off. Execute a clearing turn to the left with about a 20 degree heading change, and then immediately turn right onto the BRC. Raise the landing gear and flaps. Maintain 300 knots and stay below 500 feet. Keep an eye on the vertical speed in your vertical speed indicator instrument or in the HUD. Once you have reached 7 nautical miles distance from the carrier, you are clear to climb above 500 feet and resume own navigation. This concludes the tutorial. Your next lesson will be the Case 1 landing tutorial. But don't dread it, the Tomcat will bring you down just fine. Alright, so we're going to decide to go back to the carrier. But of course, I've gotten lost. I'm not going to get carrier signals because this is a training mission. I don't think all the training missions have all of the uh, features. Like I'm not going to get any carrier calls. But uh, it's fun flying around. Let's see what's up. F-14 is really a badass plane. Man. Still a badass plane in terms of looks as I'm watching this video I didn't know I went this far out from the carrier alright I realize I gotta adjust some more controls I need uh, the comms menu which is uh, backslash key so I need to put that on my stick. I try to make all of my jets, the F-18, F-14, F-16, the A-10, a lot of the general uh, keystrokes the same. Like my comm menu is the same button for each jet. Gear up, same button. Radar uh, scan, same button. Radar elevation, same buttons. If you can do that, you 90 percent uh, done with being able to fly these jets pretty pretty easy zero five two request navigation assistance Marshal, 
0052, Marky Mops 209 or 16, Angels 13, State 13.4.
3 wire. Yeah, so this is what happens when you admire the water, which looks pretty good in VR. And you're not paying attention to what you're doing. And yeah. Left engine hit! Left engine hit! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, this is not how this flight was supposed to end, but given that I haven't flown the F-14 in seven months, six months, a long time, uh, and actually landing on the carrier, hitting the three-wire, running off the side of the ship, which is not so bad to me, <laughs> so, but I think I'm going to go back to the F-18 and the F-16. This was a good familiarization flight, but we out.